Engineer 775 having a little bit of fun here this morning. Got pulled over. Um, I guess North Carolina is a little more strict than South Carolina. Um, I am uh, I'm at 25,000 pounds. I knew it was under 26,000 because we put more batteries in the in that truck and trailer. And uh, so they got me. Um, so I'm getting inspected and citations and I guess I need to step up my trailer game <clears throat> I've had this farm trailer for like 15 years keep it well maintained just put new wheel bearings in it and greased up and everything works on it brakes work great so I'm not overloaded and it works really well but according to North Carolina I'm bad I'm a very bad boy today so Oh, we're supposed to be putting in solar, not getting arrested. So I got Abraham following me. He's uh, following me here, and he's getting a ticket too. So this is uh, very interesting. So I'm getting an education on commercial trucking and shipping and trailers. And uh, so hopefully I won't be too bad. There we sit, trying to get to work, trying to... We are deployed to pound posts for a customer in North Carolina just 12 miles over the border I'm in deep doo-doo here so anyway if you folks had any fun like this of course you have but uh anyway I better just go get my CDL license even though I'm underweight I think if I had the CDL I would have got out of here quicker Engineer 775. Um, I'm coming back to a site we worked on three years ago. Very hot site. This was one of our first Solark 8K installs. And uh, we're back to add, add to it. We're also, this broken panel's been on there for three years. We're going to replace that. And uh, we're going to do a Cybo inverter. Stay tuned for that video and for some hot water. And then we're starting to build another Sinclair with 18 panels. We're gonna have two, two arrays, two, uh, one array with two um, rows of a series of nine. This is two of six. So we're giving her quite a boost, quite an upgrade. We're changing out the batteries. It's all EMP hardened. So we are AGM until we figure out how to harden a lithium battery. So we ramboed in, the soil was pretty soft. So it was uh, trying to, kind of tricky to pound this one in. I'll try to get some video tomorrow of actually pounding the post in. But we are uh, six feet in the ground with this 12-foot post. Not going anywhere. And uh, we're doing a, just doing a layout so we know what we need for materials. And then we're going to bring our solar down and trench over and hook up to pipes. Because we, uh, we plan for the future. And we have uh, an empty pipe here. We also have an extra conduit. But the way we're going to wire it, we, we already have our wires in. So we don't have to pull any wires to the house which is awesome. And we're just gonna restring this array and put two more IMOs, rebuild this disconnect area. Like I said, Cybo on there. And uh, got 18 panels, well, 19, one replacement panel. And we'll do some testing. Let's do a battery swap out. And we'll possibly have, if we have time, start laying it out for a Mr. Cool install here. We're gonna put a 12K Mr. Cool, because that's what we do. We're real cool these days with Mr. Cool. This place, we almost died here the last time we were here. It was like 100,000 degrees. And uh, I started coming here. My, It's almost 90 here today. I'm like, what is up with this place? It's so hot here. Anyway, it's better than 108. Right, boss? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're learning the, the Rambo and different soil types. It just behaves different on every one, so... The more we do, the more we get used to it. So, but that sure beats some concrete. Last time we were, we had some swimming pools we dug over here, concrete and trenching, and we don't have to tear up their yard this time. So very thankful for that. So we're just going to tear up this place and it's already tore up. It's been so wet in here. So anyway, we will see you tomorrow. All right. Yesterday was such a delay to the day getting, uh, 
ticketed in the way station and oh we never got to we were delayed four hours in a way station yay but we're back um we got set up we got unloaded last night right running late and today we're gonna finish up we got the rambo post driver we're gonna drive two more posts this is a small array just 18 modules but it sure beats having to schedule concrete run them in they're done run them and done and then we're gonna connect over to this array and we already have our home runs to the house. And so um, we gotta get to work. We're gonna get some uh, three posts in here and build this with Sinclair. And there's our panels over there. I gotta replace a panel on this array that was broken when we unloaded the pallet. The customer had bought the panels, but we ran a busted panel. Hate doing that, but we did. We're gonna replace that and put a Cybo inverter I think I'm gonna do a separate video on the Cybo, and I'll show you that, and we'll go through the details of making hot water with PV Direct, Solar Direct. All right, let's fire up the little Yanmar and get her position. Okay, time to drive our post. We were in Lowe's and we picked up a list of cheap post and pipe level, which works good on all axes. You can use it around pipes as well. So we're just gonna give it a shot. And, uh, See if we can get this thing driven in. We're in really soft dirt for about two feet, so it's a little awkward with the driver at first. All right, we ready? Yes, sir. All right. Oh my goodness. It's really tall. Oh, we gotta drive it at least, what, we're on 69 inches on this one? Yep. Let's get to work. We try to be good solar boys and put our ground mounts at the latitude that uh, the array lives at. The GPS coordinates of this place show 35.3 and uh, on the latitude. So we're right at the 35, 35 degrees for the Sinclair ground mount. And again, you can, rotate, you can turn these posts the other way and you can do increments of 10 the other way. So I can do um, 35, uh, 25, 15 on this rotation, face this open channel facing me. If I turn a channel around, I can get uh, 20, uh, yeah, 20, 30, 40 on the other rotation. So just keep that in mind, depending on where you live. And uh, with a seasonal adjust, you can crank up to 60, which is working well with some customers up in Maine, Wyoming, Idaho, that kind of thing. So, but for the most part, it's uh, fix it and forget it. Put it at the, your latitude. Don't worry about it. If you're worried about it, just oversize a little bit and uh, you'll never have to mess with your array. It's kind of fun when you get a new toy to want to adjust it and adjust it seasonally. Then you realize that that was a waste of time. Just fix it and forget it and uh, overcompensate. Now I know there's a lot of people that give me a hard time on YouTube that you know you need to do a tracker but these are never gonna move. They're never gonna fail. And uh, if you're worried about it, add a panel, add two panels. Okay, we're getting late in the afternoon. We got our solar array built. This is the upgrade 18 panel, uh, 320 watt Axitex on a Sinclair fixed ground mount, 35 degree angle. So we're at a 35 degree latitude. And we brought our trench over here. The beauty of the excavator is being able to just do our piping and trenching and post driving all with one machine. And we had last time prepared for this, so we added an extra pipe. We just connected to this inch and a quarter. We brought the solar in from the other array. And we're going to parallel this array, so we have a set of home runs, back to the solar, and another set of home runs back to the solar. We swapping out. I'm putting in two PV isolators and just uh, getting our Myers hubs put in and cleaning this up. So this is the upgrade time. We're going to have uh, quite a bit more solar going to the, the Solark 8K. This is one of our first, very first Solark installs. It's been doing great, but they needed a little more power. So we're upgrading the batteries and we're upgrading the array. And then we're going to add a Cybo to this in a few minutes. All right, we're doing a little software update. You can see the up arrow here. Solark is pushing the update via the Wi-Fi dongle, which has its 
green and red lights on. We updated the software following the manual using the PowerView ES app. You can get that from your Play Store, your Google Store, your Apple iPhone Store. And then um, there's the Wi-Fi dongle to follow these instructions, basically connecting the machine, the dongle to the internet. And then uh, you end up uh, being able to monitor it. So that's that's what we want. And so we're waiting on them to push that update. It takes a little bit of time, but then uh, we're fully upgraded on software and hardware for this 8K. Okay, so we're wrapping up our updated solar job again from three years ago we installed this it's working awesome we got the software updated on it today so it's latest greatest version of software and um, let's see everything's doing well it's like six o'clock end of the day the batteries very inexpensive install just sitting on plywood agm batteries with plywood on top and uh, just a simple simple clean installation very inexpensive, no racks, and um, as you can set our laundry baskets on top. So anyway, so we more than doubled the solar during the upgrade. We tripled the battery, and they're in good shape. And um, so we're offsetting the cost of running the house. We've upgraded the hot water solution. So I think we left them in good hands. We take care of the water, water pumping, the hot water, the air conditioning, climate control, and then offsetting the other larger loads on the property like swimming pool pumps and um, outdoor condensing units and whatever it is running on the grid, this thing will offset the cost of that. And then on the off grid, this was the old 10 circuit Gen Tran, which is covering their house, covering um, basically everything they need on a daily basis and off grid. So anyway, that's an oldie. This is an oldie, no breakers. The old 8K is doing great, but it has the latest software. So the Solark really thought ahead and planned ahead with their hardware. And uh, this has proven it three years later. can just put the latest, greatest software on it. It's working just as good as any new inverter. So very happy with that. Thank you, Solark. And uh, green light for Solark. All right, folks, if you've got any questions, let me know. We can help you and with an installation or your own DIY system and uh, help you with any accessories that you might want or need with your system. This is Engineer 775 signing out again.